Hello fellow YouTubers, viewers, and my friends out there. It's Mr. Lee Nice. I hope you're doing well. And I'm going to do something a little different on this uh, video. Is uh, I'm actually going to do a voiceover on what I've recorded. And a lot of you guys out there who edit and uh, have fun making videos, uh, I've seen you doing that. And I decided, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. So this is my first one. So if you're tuning in from my channel for the first time, uh, enjoy the video. Uh, this one is about making a fishing and uh, survival spear and uh, I call it a modified version because you'll see towards the end of the video what I'm talking about but I have a fresh uh, sapling here I'm uh, working on I started with a, a CRKT Chogun Tomahawk now I'm using the uh, Becker uh, Necker BK11 to do some small work and um, size wise I, I tried to get a, a, a tree uh, or a sapling the uh, my height or taller, but I think at the time I was I was unable to find something that I really really liked uh, that size. So I'm just kind of working with something average size of a spear. Uh, it's probably about a five five and a half foot long uh, piece of fresh wood there. But uh, I got it cut down to size right now. I'm finishing up with the BK11. I'm working on uh, making that uh, spear point, and uh, so far so good. I remember. Um, that uh, using that BK11 for this task was actually a um, perfect size for it. And then I'm finishing up the tip of the spear with the CRKT uh, Chogun, which uh, I have a review up of uh, that on uh, YouTube. And I have to say it's one of the best tomahawks I've used uh, for tactical and bushcraft applications. So as, as you can tell, it uh, handles very well. Uh, next up here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm tying off the base of the spear point uh, before I, uh, I split it and that, that's when I, I guess the video comes into the point of uh, being a modified survival and fishing spear is um, I didn't make it uh, just a traditional single pointed spear I decided that I want to um, go ahead and split it now the only thing that I'm missing at this point in time is I don't have a fire going so I can't fire hard in the tip um, I will say that previously when I was working with a spear um, I, I did that and, and it worked out pretty well. So I was able to successfully put a split into that uh, single spear point, doubling uh, the uh, into a two-pronged spear and then I took a smaller piece of uh, a wood there basically like a little wedge to widen out um, the double points that I've got going on there and then I take my chogan and hammer that down in there, just sort of widening it out, making sure that I've got enough area on the spear. Then I split one of the larger points down, turning it into a trident, then I make a smaller wedge, and I'm just kind of working that down in there, just gonna hammer it in uh, slightly. And uh, luckily the way I have that decoy line tied down, the uh, wood on the spear isn't gonna over split, because uh, when that's tied down like that, it um it definitely uh, helps that from uh, turn into a mess and then I'm uh, just gonna wrap it up and make it all pretty and that was probably one of the hardest parts of the project was getting it all wrapped the way I wanted it I'm just using a decoy line here it's a little bit easier to work with than paracord um, or a better alternative would be to break down the paracord uh, and then I'm hammering a small wedge to tighten up all the cordage and that is the first production run of a modified fishing spear I was working with um, the last time I was doing this. It was just a, a two-pronged split wrapped with jute. And then now, then I have the trident one I was working on. I've seen other people split it up to four ways or more than that. But I was just trying something, uh, you know, uh, for me. I thought it was kind of neat. It made sort of a hook on the inside of the spear. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use this enough, but uh, but it was fun. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in for this video.